Yo YouTube, what's going on? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bringing you guys another video. Um, you guys are in the background. You guys are seeing me drop 66 kills in this game. And I know this is MW number Roman numeral 2. And I know everybody gets tired of watching this. Well, I'm sorry to get tired of playing it, but what else is there for me to upload? game has been stale lately um so first things first i want to talk about the mw3 beta i did have a good time trying it out um they did improve the movement which i'm happy about um the aim assist is not as crazy as mw2 uh which i'm happy about because a lot of people have been complaining on social media about the aim assist and me I don't even notice it sometimes I have aim assist sometimes I don't I don't know why people are complaining about aim assist like me personally I've never had an issue with people with aim assist and stuff like that but moving on um so I recover the movement I recovered about the aim assist now the third one everybody talks about skill based matchmaking Oh my goodness, the skill based matchmaking was awful. I don't understand why the developers don't talk about the skill based matchmaking. Is it because Activision telling the developers not to? Or else something will happen to them? Is it under a contract? Is it something? I don't know. Nobody really knows why they don't talk about it. But yeah, skill based matchmaking has been awful. And if that skill is matchmaking ends up staying like that on release, my goodness, the amount of complaints people are going to have about the game. I mean, I'm not expecting crazy things about it because I already know they hype up the game. And then when it's on release, they're like, oh, what happened? Like, why is the game like this? Like, I thought you guys were going to communicate with us about this and that. Like, it's nothing new. Like, I just don't get why people act so surprised when it when a shit game comes out and they're like wait 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 but this was this was not the plan like in the beta it was going well and what happened like I don't know I don't get it I don't know if you guys seen the picture on Twitter where it shows the Call of Duty cycle which is so funny and it's true every every time they release a Call of Duty title the hype and then like halfway through the season like it starts going down and then they're like rumors coming out about the new call of duty you know that cycle is so annoying but yeah let's go with matchmaking that shit needs to be tuned down because if not there's gonna be a lot of problems on release so yeah those are my three things good movement aim assist how i want it to be even though i'm struggling with the um aiming in that game but everybody practices everybody takes time with the movement and the aiming it's gonna take me time to get used to it um but yeah the issue that i only have is the skill based matchmaking now am i excited for mw3 no what's there for me to be excited about when when i first heard about it i wasn't even hyped I just feel the same. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just me, but the hype for me with Call of Duty now these days just doesn't hit the same. It's not like those Black Ops um, days. You know, I was so hyped about new guns. I remember the DLCs used to be like you had to pay them separately. Um, uh, like new content, like fresh content, they were released. Now they don't release shit. It's fucking boring. I'm getting tired of it. And excuse my language. Sorry guys, but this is the reality. It's like truth. Like I don't know what happened to these developers, but I don't even know if they're even trying their best what's going on behind the scenes like are they trying to put 
their project, like their amazing ideas out, but Activision's not letting them. Nobody really knows, but um, I just hope that everything goes well for this new uh new game. And you guys heard how I said a new game because it's really not a new game. It's just a copy and paste of the old NW2. But yeah, it's it's ridiculous how they Activision. I think I remember seeing a post where or. I don't know what YouTuber pointed out, but Activision said it's a new game, when in reality it's not, it's not a new game. You could've just sent out an update to the MW2 that we have right now. Like, I don't know why you guys made a whole new game. It even confuses people that MW2 maps are in the MW3, like, what, what is that? But, I don't know, am I gonna be buying the game? No. Not at full price. That game is not. That's not even a new game. That's a DLC, in my opinion. And for the ones that are saying it's not a DLC, I don't. I don't know how the hell you guys don't see it. Like you're literally delusional if you think that it's not a DLC. But it clearly is. It's nothing new. It's the same thing, copy and paste. Just better movement. <laughs> but yeah, going back. I was also planning whether to buy it on sale. I don't even know if I want to buy this um, MW3 on sale to be honest either. I'm just disappointed how zombies even ended up being introduced too. Like the fact that it's a limited time event or game mode, I should say, is awful. I was expecting a round base. Everybody was expecting a round base. I know the zombies community and like I have a heart for this community because these guys like the customs um, maps that they put out like these guys put more effort than the ones that we have over there in Activision like dang these guys should be hired but do they care? No they don't give a fuck they care about the money that's all they care about these fucking developers man like the Activision just cares about money and I'm glad that the, what is his name, Bobby Kodak, or I don't know, I'm glad he's leaving, that guy made the game, like, Jesus, like, I don't know what he was thinking about, I'm glad he's out, there's really not much to say about him, he's selfish, he just wants to take the money, what is it, like, 400 million dollar for him just to leave, like, dang, that's enough, like, jeez, at least, at least send something to the donations, you know, like or something. Dang, dude, taking all four hundred million. Crazy. What would you guys do with the four hundred million dollars? I would have not lie. I would have invest some of it. I would have given the donations. I, I would have done nice things for the world, bro, because the world needs a lot of needs a lot of help. And then with the stuff going on right now, like it's crazy, you know, but. Yeah, and the V3, I'm not excited about it. Although they did bring back the features that we've been asking the MW2. But, you know, they love to make people buy a $70 game that's not even new. I want, I just wish there was one day that we would boycott this game. That way, so we can make them understand that we're not like. We're not gonna be like buying big games on release. Heard of it. X Define, I was really looking forward to, but they delayed it again, which is disappointing. But I understand from their side. I'd rather have a, a well polished game on release than having it rushed and see all the bugs and issues on release. Like, that's Call of Duty. They like to bring out rushed, out rushed games and have all the bugs released, you know. But X Defying is probably one of the main games I'm gonna be uploading on this channel a lot. And I, I did try out the closed beta on PC only. Also, there was uh, other betas for consoles and PC to try out. 
and I did really have a good time. And the fact that there's no skill based matchmaking is amazing. Like we we the community just want to have fun, you know. Even after getting out of work, you wanna play games and chill. I know Call of Duty does the opposite of that. They want you to suffer after getting out of work. They want you to sweat and everything. But I'm glad that X Defiant is coming out. I don't know when, but even if it's later on, I have no problem. I'd rather have the game come out like fresh and not have any issues. X Defiant is on the right track. And I understand it's under Ubisoft, but you know, it's fine. I have no problem with it. I'm just glad other uh, X Defiant is at least somewhat trying to compete with um, Call of Duty, even though they're they're not the Call of Duty killers, as what people would say. I don't know why people started saying that. Like, no game should be like killed or anything you know like no game should be abandoned like it's good to have competition it's good for people to try out different games you know but yeah i cannot wait for the game to come out whenever whenever that whether never is like next year i don't know whenever that game comes out i'm just happy i'm happy for x to find more than w3 mw3 is a copy and paste like i said also for zombies i hope x defying adds a zombies game mode Cause that's another um thing I can't wait. If it ends up happening, that'll be amazing. More content. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow for another video. It might be search and destroy or some zombies content. I don't know. I'm gonna start uploading some search and destroy. I miss playing that game on, but yeah, running out of time. Thank you guys so much for the love and support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.